Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading for October of 2021. I want to say welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. Please know that these readings are intuitive. I do connect to spirit in order to bring you through the messages that you need to hear. If something does not resonate with you, just know that that is not your message for right now. Um, also, you could check out your moon and rising signs. I am only doing six signs this month. I'm going to, spirit wants me to go deeper with you guys. So you're going to see different readings coming out for your signs. I did have a poll up asking you what your rise, uh, what your uh, sun sign was. So I'm doing the top six signs. So you can check those out. And if you don't know what your moon or uh, rising signs are, you can also check that out on, um, I believe it's um, Astrology Cafe. You can find that out there. All right. Excited to get into October, the new moon, the 1010 portals all happening. So very excited to see what it's bringing for you. Also, if you haven't heard, I am launching the 21 days to opening your psychic abilities again for November 1st. I only run this about two to three times a year. So this will be the last time this year. I probably won't run it again, probably until April or May of next year. So definitely make sure you check that out in the description box or in the comments below. All right. So let's see what's going on for you for Sagittarius here. So we've got the moon card, which is very interesting because as I'm recording it, it is the new moon. So with the new moon, you want to set intentions. So also here, there's a lot of darkness and shadows that I'm seeing. So this month might bring forth a bunch of things that you need to see in regards to yourself, in regards to your past. It's like uh, I'm hearing things are being brought to the light. So just be aware of that. Don't run from that. We want to make sure that we heal the stuff that comes up. And of course, the first card here is the fool. So this is about taking the leap of faith. It's about moving forward with this knight of pentacles, six of swords here, and the two of pentacles. So in the very beginning of this month, right about now, right about the new moon, you might be taking a leap of faith. You might be shutting something down is what I'm getting for some of you. And then some of you might be going on a new journey here. It's going to be a little bit of a slow progress in the beginning. So do not quit is what I'm hearing because you are leaving something behind. And when you leave something behind in the two of pentacles, there's a lot of balancing here. So when you leave something behind, you know, the ego likes to play, get in our head. Are we making the right choice? What are we doing? And right around the new moon, especially because we're in Mercury retrograde as well, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff happening. Um, you could definitely be, your ego could definitely be playing with you here. So just give it time, give it space. And like we said over here, everything will be brought to the light. So don't feel like you have to force anything this month. It's more about letting it come to you rather than you seeking it out. Okay. Because it's hiding. It's like hiding in the darkness. So just let it come to its light on its own. In the middle of the month here, we've got the page of wands. We've got the queen of wands. We've got the knight of wands. And we've got the five of swords. So a lot of business stuff could be happening here, career, jobs in the middle of the month here. Um, it looks good. It looks uh, it looks as though this could be a lot of success coming in for you, uh, really standing in your power, understanding what you're doing, uh, kind of, um, I'm hearing the word relishing. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> but definitely, um, you know, standing in that power and really cherishing and really um, I'm trying to feel the energy that they're bringing here. It's just flowing. It's flowing and it's all coming in for you. So things that you wanted, whatever is brought to light in the beginning of this month with the uh, 1010 portal and also the new moon and also Mercury retrograde together, I feel as though there's a lot of stuff coming up. They're bringing it through my heart and through my throat. So maybe things that you wanted to say that you haven't said before, maybe the communication, um, they're showing me like communication was off, but then that offness actually put it in the right spot. So just trust that whatever is happening around you at this time is meant to be, okay? You've got the five of swords uh, in this. I'm just going to clarify this for us because with all this great stuff and then we've got the five of swords, like what is that? What is the, somebody's shady, somebody stabbed you in the back, the death card. So again, something has to end and maybe in the middle of the month here, you might feel like, oh, you're feeling so good. Things are just flowing. Like, let me bring that back or let me do something with that, um, it's done. It's a done deal, okay? Five of swords and the death. So whatever has stabbed you, and also what I'm getting here, 
is whatever stabbed you in the back here, you can see they're taking their swords with them and two are left in your back. Whatever this is, was meant for you. As harsh as that sounds, it's not, it didn't happen to you, it happened for you. And with the death card, that's that transformation. So, um, okay, so they're bringing me into the victim mentality. So anybody here who's in the victim mentality, poor me, how could they do that? I can't believe that happened to me. And you're just in that mindset of this happened to me, no matter what it is. And believe me, I deal with uh, you know, uh, physical abuse, sexual abuse, all of that stuff as well. Whatever it is, it is for your path, for your life here. And it is leading you to the transformation that you are here to have in this lifetime. So take a deep breath in with that and let go of some energy around that and start to stand in your power versus giving them the power by sitting in that victim mentality. This happened for you, not to you. And that's what that death card is, is confirming there. And then watch this. Once you let that go, once you start to let those things flow, once you release that, that feeling of this happened to you, that victim mentality, poor me, I can't believe all that, all those thoughts get out of the ego. Watch this. Eight of pentacles. You keep working at it. You keep healing yourself. You keep moving forward. Ten of cups, two of cups, king of cups. I mean, I can't even say anymore. This is like everything. This is just beautiful love and you can see the moons here. So definitely this month, be aware of the new moon and the full moon um, and just be aware of the planets. A lot of them are in retrograde. So understand the energy around you is what I'm seeing. And you can, you can learn more about this in my book. It's not you, it's your energy about the energy of the planets, energy of spirits and all of that. And also of course your energy, but I'm just feeling a lot of play is in the, is in astrology for you here. So just realize, be patient, allow yourself to, um, let things come up for you. Don't try to force them. And there's just a lot of love coming in at the end of this month. And I feel as though it's coming in in so many different ways. Um, you know, it's going to be coming in from spirit. You're going to feel guided. You might even be able to connect to those psychic abilities if you sign up for the course in November here. But like, um, it's going to be coming in from spirit, the universe. It's going to be coming in from yourself. It's going to be coming in from other people. I'm also even getting a boss. So definitely understand that there's a lot of energy at play and it's happening for you, not to you. So even in this month, there might be some downfalls. There might be some, um, you know, bumps in the road that you got to get through. However, they're going to create, yeah, with the tower card there, discovery, change, and adjustments. So there could be something this month that's going to kind of throw you off and you're going to want to force it. You're going to want to fix it. And they're just saying like, let it be and see what comes from it. Okay. Yeah, nine of swords, stress and anxiety. So don't let that tower card, and then seven of wands here is taking a stand. Don't let that tower card, don't let the bump in the road actually affect you. We're gonna pull one more card here. It's like you have everything you, you need inside of you. And again, that's that power, standing in that power. And again, two of cups, which you've got here. If, if you heed this warning, it's not even a warning. If you listen to the advice from spirit here, what they are saying is that whatever's coming your way in the month of October, it's not going to be crazy. It's not going to be like, or like life shattering, but there's going to be some bumps in the road and you could go one way or the other, which, you know, is basically you can go that victim mentality or you can take that stand and know that whatever's happening to, for, to you is actually for you, it's going to push you in the right direction, which is where the universe wants you to go. Whoops. All right. So what question of the month do we have here for the sign of Sagittarius, please? And here we go. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Laughing and smiling is the best way to raise your vibration. It can let go of a lot of the energy that's not yours. It can let go of a lot of the energy that's around the moon and the astrology and all of that. So definitely like put on a comedy show, um, go out like laughing with your friends, whatever it is. Uh, it says, go back to a moment when you laughed so hard, you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest things. 
Note to self, laugh more often. Today's sole action, make somebody laugh today. So even you allowing somebody else to laugh, making jokes for them is going to boost and raise your vibration as well as their vibration. And when I talk about vibration, it's just really your vibes, you know, that, that good feeling inside of you, it's your energy and bringing it to the next level, um, until you get to the highest vibration, which is love. And that's what you have coming in at the end of this month. So look forward to it. Look forward to the end of the month here, because there's a lot of love. Um, as long as you let things go and you get out of that victim mentality. So it's time to take a stand. It's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to take your power back. It's, it's time to start to take care of you and do things that you like to do and let everything else go. Let everybody else's expectations go. Let everybody else's judgments go and really kind of just listen to your own heart and listen to your own intuition. So I hope that resonates. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of energy work here. So I do something called light language now and I'm bringing it to my family on YouTube. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's going to sound a little weird. It's like I'm speaking a different language, but it's a form of energy healing. I'm channeling spirits through in order to shift your energy here. So I want you to think about whatever you are in a victim mentality here and whatever that is, whatever has happened to you in the past, I want you to just bring that to your heart for a moment and we're just going to shift that. Okay. So go ahead and just take a deep breath in and close your eyes here and go ahead and let it out. Just feel, feel that emotion, feel the energy, um, feel the pain, whatever you're feeling, no matter what it is, it's okay. And here we go. <laughs> you don't have to hold this anymore. Just letting it go. Ashka levet the key. Go ahead and take a deep breath in there. Shaka levet the shaka levet the kumusarava. Ashka le ashka levet the key. Shaka levet the musarava. Ashka ashka levet the ko. Letting all that pain, letting all those thoughts, letting all those emotions just float away here. Shaka levet the shaka levet the kumusarava. Ashka levet the key. Shaka levet the kumusarava. Take a deep breath in, and I want you to just hold that in your heart. And just start to stand in your power, knowing your truth. Shaka levete kishala. Go ahead and let that breath out. Shaka levete, shaka lavata kumusarava. Ashke le, ashka lavata kusereve, shilavatamu. Ashke vesha lavata kusarava. Shaka levete kishala vata kumusere. Ashka leve, ashka levete kusarava, shalavata kumusarava. Just relax your body a little bit more here. Let the energy flow out. Bringing joy back to your life here. Seeing things through a new pair of glasses. New lenses here. Positive. Positive. And go ahead and take a deep breath in and go ahead and let it out. And then one more time, take a deep breath in. And with that breath in, I just want you to put a smile on your face. And then go ahead and let it out. And you can open your eyes when you're ready. So just letting all of that energy that's stuck um, in the past, just letting it go, knowing that it's not yours to carry anymore. It's time to get these swords that out of your back and start to enjoy life more, start to laugh more, start to smile more, and just realize that all of these bumps in the road here is uh, uh, bringing you to a certain place in your life. And you might not be able to see that right now, but you will in the future. So just have trust, just have patience and, um, and see what happens and get excited because the universe works in such amazing ways that we can't see it until it's here. So just realize that it's coming. All right. Much love to all of you. If you want to sign up for the 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities, 
uh, you can do that in the description box and in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know on that. Much love to all of you. Please make sure you hit the like button if you liked the, the light language. It's my new form of healing. It's a little bit different than light language, but um, that. And then also make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are a Sagittarius and want to see more readings and healings like this. All right. Much love to you. Have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.